Uh, it's uh, Thursday, the 3rd of uh, January 2019. Welcome, everyone, to the program. This is your business morning. Let's get the show started. I am Bosu Nomofai. We, uh, as always, try to get you a bit of a sense of where we're coming from as we start a brand new year. We have a quite a number of unfinished business of 2018. Among them is the higher minimum wage. Still a burning issue as federal government reportedly scheduled a meeting for tomorrow, January the 4th, with the National Nigerian Labour Congress to prevent a nationwide strike by the workers' union. The government is trying to negotiate what has been put in the tripartite report, 60,000, uh, 30,000, I as the new minimum wage. In the meantime, in the review of 12-year-old ports and terminals concessions of the Obasanjo's administration, the last uh, deadline for December was not met by the Nigerian Port uh, Authority. That's part of the unfinished business of 2018. Meantime, the construction of the uh, Papa Port Link Roads, the clearance of those haulage vehicles and Lagos roads and the congestion of the Lagos seaports remain to be fixed. Also being looked, uh, carried over into the new year is the debate. Budget 2019 is still with the National Assembly. We are to have a word from the chambers. Uh, all of that as everyone gets back to business in coming days. Uh, let's check in with the power sector. The power distribution companies or DISCO say their total energy output to consumers since 2013, that's five years ago, when the sector was privatized under the Jonathan administration, averaged 3,453 megawatts per day. The annual daily generation sent out energy uh, was less than 3%. Uh, according to the power firms, they say that the daily energy distribution consistently falls short of the 2015 MITO. That's the multi-year order tariff assumptions which they had on paper for the operations and service delivery when they were privatized and become private sector-led organizations uh, five years ago, 2013 November. Last year, the power generation daily sent out energy averaged estimated 91,000 megawatt hours, while uh, the MITO 2015 industry forecast for last year was 203,976 megawatt hours. The power firms in industry says the industry market shortfall in Naira terms is 1.4 trillion Naira. We'll have more on that conversation tomorrow on the show. Meantime, where is Lagos State's budget for 2019? Nigeria's number one economic powerhouse is yet to release its New Year fiscal budget for the first time in about a decade. Uh, meantime, uh, Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry is planning another edition of private sector interaction with the governorship candidates of Lagos State, and that will be next week, the 11th of January. According to the LCCI Director General Muda Yusuf, uh, the economic and business agenda of the governorship candidates of Lagos State uh, is of strategic importance to investors, not just in Lagos, but the entire country. Yusuf says in a statement that import, it is important for the private sector stakeholders in Lagos to have an insight into the thinking of the candidates on the trajectory for the Lagos economy. January the 11th, LCCI is engaging all the uh, governorship candidates for Lagos State, Nigeria's number one economic and financial center. Meantime, Sterling Bank uh, today announces that uh, it has made a full repayment or redemption as a terminology in the debt market of his fixed rate 4.562 billion naira, seven year, 13% subordinated, unsecured, non convertible debenture, which was rolled out in the year 2011. The full redemption and payment to all bondholders was completed on December the 31st, 2018. That's reporting back to the market. That's what it means. Okay, so you want to take a ride with the Honorable Minister of Transport, Rotimi Amechi, is today making some inspections on the new Lagos Ibadan rail line. He's been spending most of his time, including the December, uh, trying to talk to the contractors to make sure that this new rail line gets on schedule. So today, the Honorable Minister of Transport is uh, uh, taking a test ride, checking with all the uh, components, I'm sure that everything is ready uh, for the Lagos Ibadan rail line to begin full operations January 2019. That's about the story there. You want to take a ride, check in with the Honorable Minister of Transport and see where we are as far as the Lagos Ibadan Railway is concerned. Let's uh, check with the market. A very unhappy new year for stock markets around the world on, that was yesterday, January 2nd. That's Wednesday, the first 
full trading day of the new year was a blistering red. The Nigerian market we lost about 145 billion naira to start the first trading day. What a very negative way to start a new year. So uh, let's uh, throw this uh, bit of other stories into to Temple Ashaju, who is live to us from our studios, uh, the Nigerian Stock Exchange, bright and early today, the second trading day. Temple Ashaju, good morning. Is uh, it's good to have you with us on the show. Let's uh, throw these stock market numbers as well as the rest uh, into your court. Welcome to the program. All right. Good. Thank, thanks for having me, uh, Bosa, and good morning to you there, too. Uh, so, yes, uh, we're saying this trend uh, not because, just because of the fact that a lot of countries around the world will, in 2019, be having their elections, and this is kind of creating some investor apathy at the moment. You know, Nigeria, for example, we are having our election, 2019 general elections, starting in February next month, and that's why we started the year, you know, week this way, uh, as we saw yesterday in the numbers, which even came a bit more delayed yesterday, we were down some 1.15%. Indonesia will also be having its election. South Africa is also uh, going to be preparing for same, and a whole lot of other countries. And of course, the fact that central banks and emerging markets around the world are bracing up to show up their interest rates, given the kind of offshore, uh, the, the risk of sentiment that we've seen from uh, offshore investors globally. That These are some of the reasons why we're seeing this kind of um, uh, portfolio rebalancing and a whole lot of uh, sell-down uh, markets, except for uh, that's and that's different from what we're also seeing in the United States, the United States of America, where we have a bit of a shutdown, 25% of the government shutdown uh, in that climb. Of course, uh, that is uh, sending out a lot of investors. Back to Nigeria here, where we had uh, 31,000 psychological line in terms of our uh, all share index yesterday, down some 115 basis points. What did we see? We saw weak investor sentiment uh, in the run-up to the 2019 election, as I said earlier. And of course, this trend is likely to persist uh, for the rest of this week and beyond. Now, we saw uh, the fact that activity level yesterday was down 1.6 uh, billion uh, naira, uh, and that is lower than the regular 30-day uh, average that we've seen. Volume was just 214.41 million yesterday. And if you look at the, the, the buy and the sell side of things, reflecting and the deals now, that was just 2,885, uh, 2,856 uh, deals yesterday, as we saw. The market breadth was also well, too battered yesterday. 18 gainers versus just 26 losers. A lot of investors selling down because we're preparing for election, and that creates a whole lot of statuses. This reflected in the banking sector, uh, where we were just marginally up 0.08%. The four of the five sectors were really negative yesterday. Consumer goods down 2.3%. Uh, industrial goods down 1.2%. Insurance sector down 1.31%. And of course, the oil and gas down by some 66 business points. Look at how that reflected on the energy side of things. We didn't have no company gaining yesterday. Corn oil had no change. It was just 23 Naira, 25 Cobo in share price after we saw some 1,148 uh, units of its shares traded. 40 oil before Christmas before the new year touched some 34 naira in in price. At a point in time, it was the rally in the market. It was a key, had some key rally in the market. Now down to 28 Naira, down yesterday by 2.44% after over 2 million units of the shares was traded. 11 PLC uh, settled at 185 Naira, no change in the price. MRS, which came in to replace it on a PLC yesterday in terms of the uh, NSE 30 composition, had no change. We saw just 625 units of his shares. That's really minimum. Just 625 units of his shares uh, traded yesterday. O and O down. Seplat, no change. Total PLC in spite of the Aegina uh, 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 plants, which is up and running now. Yesterday had no change. Perhaps that would change the game today in the market and move it beyond the 203 Naira. Eternal PLC was also down. 4 Naira 70 cover. Takes us to the unlisted securities market where we saw a marginal decline yesterday. 0. 
0.07% in the index there. The USI settled at 740.16 points. Market capitalization closed at 514 uh, million naira, 514.3 uh, 43 billion naira precisely yesterday at the side of the market. A lot of domestic investors are moving to that side of the market because that's where you have more uh, uh, domestic players. The volume yesterday was 34,383 and valued at just 281.85 million naira. Takes us to the fixed income markets, the debt side of the markets where we saw more interest in the in terms of bonds specifically, slight sell off around the mid tenors yesterday. Look at the numbers on the screen. 13th of February uh, 2020, which represents the short side of the, the short end of the curve. We saw more trades there. 23rd of February 2028 is the long end of the curve. But if you look at the 2024 securities, they had the highest uh, uptick yesterday in the market. 2024 securities rose uh, some kind of 71 business points because of the sell pressure that we had saying that that particular security had actually rallied more way before Christmas uh, last week where we saw a lot of uh, rally and of course before New Year. Now we're seeing a whole lot of uh, uh, sell down there and that's why there's an uptick of 71 business points there. General yesterday, 24 securities in terms of the bonds market uh, experienced trade and that was valued at, uh, valued at 6.20 billion naira. In terms of the Treasury bill segment, we saw the return of the DA more to the market yesterday after five weeks of no auction. But yesterday we saw some 75 billion naira offered and sold in spite of some 116 billion naira uh, 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 maturities that we saw in the market. So uh, generally the uh, stop rates came in at 10.8% for the 91 day to maturity. We had some 13.1% uh, for the uh, 182 day to maturity. But in the secondary side of the market, slightly bullish uh, sentiments were seen yesterday. We saw yields moderating across the short and the mid side of the curve. A lot of the uh, January 2019 securities you can see on the screen, they, that's put together with other trades that we saw yesterday. Deals came in at 336 and valued at 109 billion naira. Today, some kind of uh, negative sentiment is expected to continue in the market, Boson. Well, a Temple, this was a very, uh, a very roaring day for Treasury uh, bills market uh, starting the new year with the expectation of liquidity in the market. And that secondary ma uh, trading at the FMDQ was quite a very a huge one, 109. This is the first major uh, uh, shoot we're seeing in the new year. Uh, but of course, again, most of these the trading actions, as you pointed out, uh, all around the uh, instrument on papers maturing uh, in the new month. We are just about two weeks a few days from now, was so 10th of January, which is going to be early uh, midweek next week, all around 15 billion. So this looks like uh, traders and investors are, are booking uh, some of uh, cash in very quickly early uh, in the new year. Again, they have to start very active trading day. Temple Ashadju, thank you very much uh, for your time. We're checking with you a little bit later uh, on the program. Again, yesterday was an unhappy day for the market. Will it be a happy Thursday? For the stock market, Temple, let's check in what all the news you have in the box and see how the investors are reacting to them. Of course, the photo oil, as you pointed out earlier, is the investors still are trading that news in the box. Of course, with the notice that uh, that sale transaction by a billionaire, Femi Otodala, will be consummated in the new year. Thank you. Temple Ashaju, live to us from the Nigerian Stock Exchange. Quite a lot to uh, still talk about on the program. The Central Bank of Nigeria has its own mind on what it wants to do in 2019, we got an idea of that. If you're on the market, you know how to read the tea leaves anywhere and anytime as central bank governor speaks. We'll talk about that <clears throat> pardon, at about 10.30. But first, we have a lot to talk about in our consumer uh, space, in our commodities market, quite a lot. Oil price is still highly volatile. The U.S. president says he's the one who talked to a few OPEX producers and the, and the oil price has moved up then it looks like that talk by the President uh, Trump actually uh, faded out and oil prices start heading south. We've got some good news. Uh, Gina is back, is now on stream, adding about at least about 170,000 barrels per day to Nigeria. So, uh, but, but where is the OPEC story around here? We have all, all this put together in our consumer box after the break. Stick around. You're watching Business Morning. <laughs> 